come onto your knees in thunderbolt pose if you are able and it is comfortable enough you can spread the feet further apart and sit further back into hero pose from here you're going to bring the hands to the floor and gently walk the hands to one side for a twist and hold that for a breath and then back to centre and then to the other side and back to centre bring the knees and feet back together and come into your child's pose if you want to grab opposite elbows or wrists behind the back you can Remember you can always put a block on the mat to rest the forehead on as well. Then bring the hands to either side of the head and push up and come into your tabletop position. Arch the spine, lowering the head, and then curl, arching once more, keeping shoulders away from the ears. And then return to tabletop. Push back onto your heels, hands to one side as you bring your legs out in front of you. Stretch the legs out, toes pointing up. Make sure you are sitting equally both sides. Breathe in as you raise the arms up and breathe out as you fold forward over the legs. Just place the hands wherever is comfortable. Remember we're not pushing ourselves past 70%. We're working within our body's limits. Then breathe in to bring the body back up. Just going to turn round so that you can see better now. Taking the legs out into a wide V shape and placing the hands flat on the floor. Just make sure your toes are pointing up. And when we fall forward, we're not going to round the shoulders we're going to keep the spine nice and straight and just gently walk the hands. You may not get far down, you may get all the way to the floor. It just depends on your level of flexibility. But try not to dip the head too much. Hold this for a breath. If you feel comfortable in doing so, you can take the right hand to the ankle or around the toes and the left one again keep that spine nice and straight bring the hands back to the center and bring yourself back Bring the feet together and allow yourself to lie back on the mat. Knees bent. Bring the right knee into the chest. You can give it a squeeze if you like. And then release and the left knee. And 
and release. Make sure your feet are in line with your hips. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and have your hands either side of you, palms facing down. So the soles of the feet and the palms of the hands are flat on the mat. Breathe in as you lift the hips up into your bridge pose. And just hold this for a breath. And release. Going to lift up again. Breathe in. Lifting up. You can always raise the right leg and place the sole of the foot on top of the left thigh, all the while pushing up. And then release. And of course, if you do one side, you need to do the other. So just check your alignment. Breathe in as you push up. And bring the left foot to the right thigh all the while pushing up. Release the leg and release the body and then stretch. Bring the arms back down to either side of the body. Bend the knees but this time Bring the knees together. You may need to move the hands out a little because you're going to allow the knees to first of all fall to the right. You don't need to force them all the way to the floor. Breathe in to bring them back up to centre and then allow them to fall to the left. And back up to centre, to the right, upwards and to the left, back to centre. You can always bring the arms up above the top of the head, but please make sure that the forearms are in contact with the floor or the mat and that they're not just hanging, they do need some support. Third and final time, allow the knees to fall to the right. Breathe in to bring them back up and breathe out as they fall to the left. Breathe in to bring them back up. Release the arms and now bring both knees into the chest. Keep the back of the head firmly on the floor and you're going to move the knees in small circles three times in one direction and then three times in the other. Squeeze them once more and release. Give yourself one last stretch and then prepare yourself for relaxation.